what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 22 ultimate team video in today's video we're going over the rookie premiere promo which is officially live in game right now we're going to help you guys understand the entire promo now that the controller is in our hands now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out do me a favor help me out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here because you were searching around youtube for rookie premiere information and you found my video or maybe it was recommended to you stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it and we're going to start with the solo challenges so there's a lot going on with this promo it's a basically a two-month promo it's going to last until the very end of mutt 22 into mutt 23 you're able to carry some cards over or get cards from your progress based on mutt 22 into mutt 23 and there are 32 99 overall cards added into the game today one for every team so with the solo challenges a couple things that you need to know here number one I believe there are a total of 50 solos. Let's confirm this here. I think I'm only going to be able to see the, be able to see the number of stars, but it looks like 160 stars worth of solos, five star solos, which is great for leveling up because leveling up is going to help you get some content for Rookie Premiere for Mutt 23. And then section number two looks like another 90 stars worth of solos, and we got five star solos here. Between the two sections, there are a total of 50 solos. Now, there are going to be Rookie Premiere tokens in which you can earn up to 15 of them. And one of those 15, we'll explain all 15, but one of those 15 will be earned by beating every single solo. I don't think you have to max out the stars, but you do have to complete all 50 solos to get one of 15 tokens as far as the milestone rewards go so we got tier one we're going to skip the coin amounts here uh, tier one tier four tier seven tier 10 and tier 13 are going to give you 93 overall rookie premiere cards these cards are going to help you build out the 99 overall sets which we'll see in a little while here and the sets are going to be vital to getting additional rookie premiere tokens but so far let's regroup and regather here beating all 50 solos is going to get you one of those tokens now i mentioned a moment ago that these five star solos are great not only that but we are getting double xp from here until the end of mutt 22 i believe the date is august 15th the other token two of 15 will be earned once you hit mutt level 30 you're going to get a second token if you're already at mutt level 30 i'm guessing you'll have to play through a few solos or something and the reward will eventually pop up but one token for beating 50 solos two tokens for hitting level 30 and then the other 13 because you can get a total of 15 will be obtained from completing 99 overall rookie premiere sets so let's go ahead and take a look at these sets as stated a little while ago 99 overalls for every single nfl team 32 of them in totality and to build out these sets it's going to require 93 overall rookie premiere cards i just kind of want to call them collectibles and you can only do each set one time so with there being 32 of them you only need to do 13 to get the 13 tokens to carry over to mutt 23 and we'll explain at the end of the video what you can do with those tokens but obviously you can do all of these sets if you'd like to and later on today we are going to be dropping a video going over the best 99 overall rookie premiere cards to get for this year's game the cards that carry over that you can earn in mutt 23 are going to be 86 overall cards we don't have those attributes obviously at this point in the game so there's a lot of really good looking cards out here every team gets one which is a big big w and every team's going to get one in mutt 23 but again i just want to recap again one token from beating all 50 solos two tokens from beating well not two but the second token would be from hitting level 30 on your mutt level and then tokens 3 through 15 are going to be completed or earned as you complete each one of these sets you don't have to do all 32 sets you can do 13 sets to get 13 tokens and everybody will be capped at 15 tokens now how else do you get these 93 overall cards that go into the sets well we already showed you the solos that's one way to earn them a second way is going to be through exchange sets now these will be limited some are going to be repeatable more than once some will not be but there's various sets within the game that will earn you 93 so for example if you exchange the trayvon walker 99 overall card you're going to get yourself a pack that gives you 10 of those 93s so really you're exchanging that 99 for another 99 of your choice because you need 10 of those 93s 
to build out one of the new 99s. I hope I'm not getting confusing here. Then we have a mid-draft exchange. So this is uh, putting in 97 and 98 overall draft cards. So if you have one in your binder, you can do this now. And you can do this set up to two times. This is going to give you 593s. I want to reiterate 1093s build to 99. You want to try to do 13 of those to max out the tokens. Then there is a low draft exchange, which is going to be 95 and 96 overalls. You put two of those in here, you're going to get 493s in return. You can do this set two times. It's repeatable twice. Then we have sets for the high sugar rush, mid sugar rush, and low sugar rush. So it's going to be for the low 190 and 188, and that's going to give you 193 overall. Then you have a 1 times 94 and a 1 times 92 that's going to give you four 93s, both of these repeatable twice. And the high sugar rush is going to require two 96 overalls, and that will in turn give you seven 93 overall rookie premier cards. Again, two times repeatable there if you notice in the upper left hand corner of the graphic. There's also a 90 overall, 90 plus overall exchange set, so you can just put in basically any 90 plus overall card in here. Obviously, you don't want to put 99s. But any 90 plus overall card can go in here to get two 93s in return. That set's repeatable twice. We have an 85 to 89 exchange set. That set is repeatable twice. You have to put 10 cards into there to get 193 back in return. And then a 75 to 89 overall exchange set, which is also repeatable twice. These sets, after you kind of basically max them out, they're not going to refresh or anything. So we are probably all going to get to a point where we need additional 93s. And your options are going to be either buy them off the auction house, buy packs that contain them, and there are also going to be missions in the game to help you earn additional 93s. I'm going to try my hardest not to spend any money on any of these packs and in turn only spend coins. We don't know if these will refresh, but here are the packs and there's a lot to go over. So there's a 20 time bundle that basically gives you 1093 overall. So it's $20 equals 1093 overalls. We also have either for a hundred K or $5, a five time rookie premier special offer. Being that this is a special offer, I think for $5, it's probably worth it. When you think about the fact that 10 of them would cost $20 when you can get five for $5, it's a good deal. So if you're gonna spend money, obviously coins isn't a bad option to spend either, but if you're gonna spend money, this is probably worth $5. There's also a five-time Rookie Premier bundle. So this one guarantees you just the 93s. This one gives you five packs, and the five packs guarantee you a 93, but there are also other contents within that pack. There's also a 20-time pack bundle. For basically a little under $100, you're going to get 10 guaranteed 93s from the toppers, and then another 20 guaranteed 93s from those 20 packs in this bundle, but also you're getting other content within those packs. And then there are single packs in which you can get 20 of them, so you 20 of them, so you are limited 60,000 coins for the pack you're guaranteed a 93 in every pack i don't know if 99s are in the packs as well that would be kind of fire but they're not going to help you get the tokens at the end of the day and by getting the tokens i mean completing up to 13 sets to get 13 tokens as mentioned they do uh there's only 20 of them out there so i don't think these will refresh at all either sometimes they have in years past but like last year if i remember correctly they did not refresh them so i wouldn't bank on that so a lot of options as far as packs go we're going to kind of change the direction really quick here training variety pack is updated five brand new golden tickets in the game right now highlighted for me at least by halfback michael vick and wide receiver nick Foles. they did them dirty putting them in jets uniforms and rams uniforms but i'm going to be going after those cards today they are in the training variety pack if you want to go after them as well and if you guys are looking for an update on training here right now are the cheapest rates for training but i want you guys to be careful here because those 99s for the rookie premieres that people are building i would not be surprised if you're going to see a lot of those quick sold because people are trying to do the rookie premiere sets to get the tokens for next year's game and they don't really care about the 99 overalls for this year's game i'm one of those people i want the jordan davis card for my eagles team team the other 99s i could care less about so you might see a lot of people doing the sets and either quick selling their 99s or selling their 99s and that could cause a shake up on the market for training prices but here are the cheapest training rates for the training variety pack 
if you're going to be pulling those four golden tickets. And honestly, pulling this pack isn't a bad idea in general because ultimate legend pieces are in this pack and those can help you with those various exchange sets that I showed you in game not too long ago. Also, if you have not opened up your fan appreciation packs, these fan appreciation packs guarantee a draft player in there. So those are not only going to help you get the draft players for those exchange sets, but remember, you can also use draft players to build that 99 overall Trayvon Walker because you do have that one time, that one repeatable set where you can trade this year's 99 Trayvon Walker for 199 overall or 1093 collectibles, which equals 199 overall uh, within that set. And you can only do that once. So whether it's the money fan appreciation packs or the 75,000K fan appreciation packs, either or, these are going to be pretty good for content for those exchange sets. And of course, there's a billion and million other uh, packs in here. I went to the wrong screen, but there's tons of other packs under the player section. These are more so going to help you out with those exchange sets, not so much the 93s because they are limited in how many times you can repeat them, but it's going to be a very interesting day on the market. Finally, we have missions for Rookie Premier, and the main one, the main sections that you want to take a look at here are going to be the Rookie Premier XP objectives. So I mentioned all of the solos, five-star solos, great for leveling up. We are also getting double XP right now, but there are additional Rookie Premier challenges and objectives that are going to earn you so you're, you're going to earn XP, you're going to earn coins, which is going to obviously help you level up. But also, I believe every single one of these, completing any one of these objectives, is going to give you a 93 overall. I was wrong there. Erase like the last five to seven seconds of what I said. These objectives, I backed out and went back in, are specifically just giving you XP and coins. There are a total of 20 of them. The second section to the right here, it says it right in front of my face and I missed it complete all of these activities inside this mission to earn 2093 overall rookie premier players with these objectives let's quickly take a look at them here so complete one rookie premier objective complete three five eight twelve fifteen twenty so really you are double dipping here every uh so many objectives that you complete on the list on the left is going towards everything on the right and if you complete all 20 you're going to get 2093 overalls 2093 overalls equate to 299 overalls in this year's game and also two of those possible 13 tokens so you can basically get one token for hitting level 30 one token for beating all of the solos and two tokens for beating all of the objectives you can get a total of four tokens for free now there's also a few 93s mixed into the solos not enough to build out another 99 which would equal another token but no money spent you can get four tokens without spending a single coin or a single dollar after that if you want to try to get to all 15 you're gonna have to start spending your coins you don't necessarily have to spend money though and that's what we're gonna try to do we're gonna ignore all of the packs that cost real life dollars aside from that five dollar special offer pack we're gonna go focus on building out these 99s and getting all 15 tokens i definitely feel like i'll be able to do it with no problem on this account no money spent account struggle squad account might be a little bit more difficult we got a lot of grinding to do we will end the video with this and i covered it in last night's video but what are the tokens going to be used for again you can get a maximum of 15 15. And what you're going to be able to trade those tokens in for is in Madden 23 for content. One token will be able to go into a Rookie Premier Fantasy Pack where you can choose one NCAT Rookie Premier. And these are all going to be 86 overalls to start the year, which will be very, very helpful. And since there's so many of them, they're pretty much going to cover every position. Offensive line, very important early in the year to not spend a lot of coins on. So that'll be helpful. And obviously, skilled position players will be there. But one token will get you a NCAT Rookie Premier. Uh, where you get 10 random options you get to get one of them you can only do that one time then you have option number two which will require two tokens and it's going to give you a fantasy pack that gives you all 32 cards you get to pick one of them and it will be ncat you can do that up to three times and it costs two tokens two tokens each time you do it and then the final option and you can mix and match these is taking five tokens getting a fantasy pack where you get all 32 options yet again these are 86 overalls just want to remind you and you get to pick one of those 32 overalls but they're auctionable they're not end cap meaning you can sell them early in the year for some coins and probably make a good profit off of them you can also do that up to three times so you could do the third option three times 
because 15 total tokens, five times three is 15. I knew that because I'm good at math. You can mix and match and do like, you know, the one time token, two of the five time tokens and one of the two time tokens, you'll be left with one token overall. But the limits are, are endless there. And obviously when Madden 23 comes out, we'll go over the best options on how to spend those tokens. But at this point, the goal is to earn all 15 13 from doing 99 overall sets in this year's game, one from hitting level 30, one from doing all 50 solo challenges, double XP is live, golden tickets in the game, a lot to grind. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We'll be live streaming later tonight to rip open packs. We got Twitch drops live. We might even have beta codes to give away. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.